Good morning. Uh, <coughs> this is Tempo Afric TV's Beyond the Headline program, and I'm your host, Petros Haile. Today, our guest is uh, Mr. Eve Kanao. Mr. Eve Kanao is from Togo. Uh, we can talk about Togo's history and uh, probably we'll touch a little bit about the current affairs uh, and what's going on in Togo. Good morning, Mr. Kanao. Uh, good morning, Petros, and thank you for having me. Okay. Uh, Togo, it's the smallest country by the West Africa, surrounded by Benin, Ghana, and Burkina Faso, right? Yes. What is the history of uh, Togo? I know just like Kenya has a uh, colonial uh, history in Africa, uh, Togo was also colonized by the, the German, the British and the French. I'll let you finish your story now. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you, Pedros, and like I said, thank you for having me on your show. Uh, you know, uh, Togo is a small country, like you said, uh, uh, between uh, Burkina Faso, Benin, uh, Ghana, and uh, Atlantic Ocean yep. in the south. Mm -hmm. And Togo is a very rectangular uh, country between all those countries, and uh, uh, it's a very small po country with a small population, almost uh, six and a half million for the whole country. Mm -hmm. So it's very small. And also, uh, it's a, a country with uh, a, a rich history, rich rich history. Take cultural history, political history, uh, all kinds of history. Togo is very rich on that. Um, uh, like you said, Togo was uh, colonized first uh, by Germany uh, after a first world. Uh, Togo was occupied by uh, French on the east side and uh, from the west side by, by uh, British. And uh, the actual Togo is not the, the, the same Togo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Togo we have find right now in Togo today is almost the one one third of the country. Okay. The, the German Togo, like oh. we call them equally, uh, the one third of the German Togo is part of uh, Ghana now. Uh, the part of Ghana we call uh, Volta region. Oh okay. The whole okay. Volta region is from uh, Togo, um, and now uh, the old people from direct uh, speak the people. Togolese, oh, German. German. Oh, okay. German. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Even mm -hmm. today, uh, those old people from first world, if mm -hmm. they're still alive, they still speak in uh, German. And we can have, uh, we are proud to, to have that, and uh, to have a souvenir of that country right now. Uh, so the Togo history is uh, kind of that, uh, from uh, the German uh, protest around 1884 yes. uh, okay. to the first uh, first world. Uh, Togo uh, was ruled by. Germany, yeah. And after Germany lost the world, uh, world war one, uh, Togo was uh, divided and ruled. The French come, who came from uh, French people came from uh, Benin, yeah. east side, walk through. Even Benin, uh, most of north part of Benin is still okay, still okay. Spot. So it was like that, and after. Uh, the winner decide to divide the country, each uh, colonize each colony, each uh, power country mm. at that time took uh, the best part, and uh, unfortunately, uh, Togo was uh, the big loser, yeah. and 
But the on the yeah, yeah on the west side like the volta region is a, a rich part mm-hmm. is where you find the uh, why not the the barrage for the light for the the power uh, mm-hmm. come from the volta region oh, volta region you have coke cafe cocao from uh, like we are saying from ghana most of that come from still in volta region the oil the ghana oil is on volta region mm. the the gold yeah is a uh, water region so all those things ghana uh, has today most of them are from water region originally you can understand why can coming to mind the president of that time when ghana was going to get independence mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so uh, Nkuma, uh was willing to have that power from the togo former togo the german togo mm-hmm. have that power uh, add to ghana but he couldn't do it because after German lost the war in the first war mm-hmm. in Togo, the whole Togo didn't go through the uh, French or British. It went through uh, the, League of the former uh, U- uh League of Nations. Yeah. Of League of Nations. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So the Société des Nations. Yeah. Okay. So. The, the the Togo was split on Monday uh, on Twitter of uh, the, the the whole world organization to watch Togo uh, to represent the independence. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So Nkuma couldn't just straight go and take that part and uh, add to the Ghana. So what he did, he went to he found the strategy. Okay, let's go to the United Nations and ask them if we can ask people on that region by referendum. Oh, if okay. they want okay. to be part of Ghana, uh, they want to be separate from Ghana. And on that time, Kuma was a powerful man, a, a triad uh, president. Mm-hmm. Everybody who was, uh, he was the man. Oh, yeah, he, w- he was a man of the time. Uh, yes, I uh, agree. Yeah. So <laughs> he said, okay, let's mm-hmm. organize the referendum. Okay. So the, uh, the organization, the, the, the whole world organization, said, okay, good idea. Go ahead and mm-hmm. organize the Election yeah, okay. if the uh, if the people for that area choose to be part of the Ghana, then you add that part to the Ghana. So you organize the referendum and the yes won. Okay. So when Ghana was going to have independence, so they just annex add that region, the water region to the Ghana, the Swati has Ghana today. So up to that now, I took the independence at sixty Equal officially it was uh, 60, mm. but uh, it was uh, 1958. Oh, okay, so okay. And officially it become uh, 1960, uh, uh, 27, April 27th, mm-hmm. 1960. Yeah. You know, you just brought a very interesting history on Togo. Uh, <coughs> Kwame Nkrumah, when they had a meeting in Addis Ababa, if I'm not mistaken, 63 or 64, uh, the, que- the, uh, the question of uh, existing African states, uh, he was saying uh, from now on, not him, but the whole African Union leaders, at, at that time, Organization of African Union. Yeah, <laughs> African <laughs> yeah Union. not African Union. But, you know, they respected the existing territorial uh, countries of former colonial powers a- as a reality. And Eritrean issue was raised at the same yeah, okay, time. Yeah. Okay. So, so uh, I don't think Nkrumah pursued on the issue of uh, referendum for Eritrea when Haile Selassie forcefully annexed Eritrea as part of Ethiopia. So yeah, just a side so issue. Yeah, <laughs> it's a side <laughs> yeah. So uh, uh, yeah, I can see you know the similarity. Uh, yeah, as, uh, as much as you think that yeah. Nkrumah was a great man, but he also worked for the Ghanaian national interest. Yeah. So of course, of yeah, course. That, that's his priority, I guess. Yeah, but history turns it that way every now and then. Yeah. yeah okay. I'm glad you mentioned that. Uh, I see the number of Togolese since 1981 uh, tripled. It was about 2 million at one time, 1981. Now it's uh, over 6 million. There's a big increase. Uh, in addition to that, you just mentioned that. Uh, uh, one third is remaining of Togo today, mm-hmm. uh, comparing to uh, the 
gem and prime rib prior to this. And you also say that uh, part of Benin is uh, Togo. Benin as it is is so small. <laughs> if you take part of Togo, it will just be, it will be wouldn't that just disappear? Yeah, you see, the, 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 the problem of Togo is when, mm -hmm. when uh, French people uh, uh, came from a uh, genocide, they was got, they didn't think it was worth to, uh, to go to develop that area, you see. Togo is uh, just a, a kind of a, a, a small part of the, of the, the country. And of course, the Benin was uh, small, so if you see only uh, how big the rest of that pro that, that part is it is it and it wasn't by referendum that one it was straight mm -hmm. the name is it is oh okay okay on this side the difference of language the dif over there even the north is still speaking french okay okay yeah but on the e west side it was german english so the, the difference was yeah uh, a very big oh, okay okay yeah. so like it didn't have a referendum and uh, this case you have a cameroon yeah it was the same thing a kind of cameroon yeah german, uh, german french, french and you know, uh, english yeah yes okay. well before you heard they say a republic union a republic a union republic of a uh, cameroon uh, by the time when they bring all the two parts together mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. it didn't happen in togo uh, sadly it didn't happen for togo so uh like i said you said you are two million ninety, ninety something mm -hmm. 80 something and now you're six million of course yeah maybe people find out they need to work hard they need to to increase the number the number and they did it yes uh, thanks but uh, yeah i think it's not it's not bad thing okay six million is still it's still small that's small oh Compared yeah to uh, some countries uh, next door some, some cities even cities is still small it's still small very true yeah then uh uh, France granted independence. I hate the word granted. <laughs> the, the uh, 1960 and Togo's first president was uh, Silvanus Olympia. Silvanus Olympia, yeah. Okay, from Silvanus Olympia uh, to uh, Iadema and to his son, if you don't mind telling us a little bit. Yeah, uh, Sudanese Olympia, we, 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 we Togolese, we call him the father of the independence. Mm. Because you know what, he's the, the first one to fight and travel there for for freedom. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So he was the first, and mm. uh, sa he was sadly, sadly killed uh, by uh, Iyad Mabrouk. Mm. Iyad Mabrouk, um, in 1963, 1963, yeah. uh, he was killed uh, just like that. Okay. Yes, okay. just like that, and uh, Iyad Mabrouk. Uh, took the power, but Yadema didn't take the power himself right away. Uh, first time. Okay. okay. So after that, he gave to another soldier, another officer to to rule the country, and after officer is uh, Yadema decided oh, he's not doing well, so uh, he push him, he push him again, and he gave to the civilian. Uh, so after two years, he gave to the another civil uh, a civilian. So to the, uh, the country. Yadema was uh, yeah. the so he was a uh, kingmaker. <laughs> yeah, he okay. was the the uh, the chief of army. Okay. So he was there behind and watching everybody. Okay, you go try. I will see what you gonna do. Uh, show me what you 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 have. Yeah. Uh, when he washes, oh no, it's not what I want you to do. Go. He bring another one. So uh, from sixty three to sixty seven, mm -hmm. uh, he decided that. Uh, 1967 to do it himself he took over to take over himself okay, okay this time he say okay it's time for me mm -hmm. to show you guys what i want to do so and in january 1967 mm. officially yadema took over the power from that time to 2005 for 38 years yeah so uh, honestly, me, I know just one president. Yeah. Just one. Because the son came when I wasn't even home. So the from that time, January 1967, yeah. to even today, because it's the conti continuation of Yadema. Yadema, yeah. Okay. From the father to the son. 
sometimes uh, people who are not from Togo will ask, you guys, do you have just one family? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What, just one smart family <laughs> to rule the country? Yeah, that's the price you pay when you live yeah, under see. a dictatorship, so I guess. Yeah? It's yeah. A, you mm -hmm. don't know, you know, we cannot talk about uh, many presidents in Togo, we can talk only two. Okay. Pierre de Mafamine and mm. Olympia. And Olympia. And Olympia did not last long. Olympia did not yeah. last three years. Three years. If you have to describe the Yademus rule for the last 38 years, I mean, till uh, uh, his till son he took over, yeah. You know what? Yadema is uh, one guy. Is one guy when you don't know him, you will hate him. When you don't know him, you will hate him. Mm -hmm. When you know him, you will say he's the most sweetest guy of the world. Mm -hmm. And second, if you know well Yadema, you will be his friend. He doesn't like or he didn't like somebody to touch his power. You can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Don't touch his power. And when you touch his power, mm. he will drop you. He will eliminate you? If he can. If he can, okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you why I said that. When he took the power, he did great things. Until the day, people told him he was their god. Once people told him, you're the best of the best, he started doing whatever he wants. I'm telling you, since Yadima was on power until 1980, okay. if you ask Togolese to go outside, you can give him a million dollars, he will say no. Because everything he wants, he can get it in Togo. You ask a student in Togo, I want to send you in Paris or in London or do this, he'll tell you he's not going. Because just the time he finished university, he got the job. Okay, after 1980, when Yadama knew he was the best of the best, the best Togolese, the best on everything in Togo, mm -hmm. then Everything start. You mean the going start start going down. Repression and all that. Repression, yeah. uh, corruption, everything. Until it is that day. So all in all, you can say that uh, although he's a dictator, that he did something good for the country. He start. Okay. But the way he finish, I don't know if we can say he did something. We can say he did something good or bad. It depends okay. who you are going to talk to. But one thing is sure I know. Togo people was respected when he was there. When compared to today. Okay. Well, today his son is in power. It's where we are seeing the difference. Yeah. Is there any legacy from his dad? Uh, no, the, the son is not the father. He's not. No. Okay. He cannot be his father. Okay. His father has some charismatism he doesn't have. When Yadama speak to you, mm. you feel it. You don't see it with his son. His father can convince his son. I don't know if he can convince. No, oh, okay, okay. In terms of personal style, right? Yeah. How about in terms of social and economic uh, development to the country? Is he? Okay. Is he contributed? Uh, it's what I'm saying. Economically, Yadama didn't develop the country. Okay. Okay. Maybe he can say at his time is what he could do. But uh, you cannot compare 30 years realization to what we have. 30 years. What we can do in 30 years is not what we have in 30 years with Yadda. Oh, okay. No. For that, I'm, I can guarantee you yeah. uh, what he did compared to 30 years does much well, when you say you know hardly there's any corruption before 1981 uh, yeah. during yadema was, was he rich himself was he 
Yeah. The other one was rich. Okay, okay. Is that part of the corruption, though? Yeah, it's, what I say okay. it's mm. part of the corruption. Mm. From 91, it's part of 1991, uh, it's part of the corruption. Okay. It's part of the corruption. Okay. Because okay. I said, the other one has everything. He has everything in that guy. Even okay. he said to people, you guys, I'm fighting for you. Mm. It's not me. I can stay home the rest of my life and eat. You guys, I'm fighting for you. If he didn't have one wife, how you gonna take that? If he, where he gets money from? He's not business man. Where he gets money from? From the people, right? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, you can admire a leader for keeping the country together for so long. But if the people are not benefiting from that system, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you can call them corrupt, can't you? It's what I told yeah, you. Yeah, okay. I, I say, and I say again, okay. it starts when? Okay, then at the... Then in the middle, <laughs> when... Uh, Sidetrack. Uh -huh. It starts going down. Especially mm -hmm. that one I want to ask. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not only... Uh, it's human being. Mm -hmm. It's human being. It's a human nature. Right? Our kids, mm -hmm. our wives, our fathers, our husbands, when you start praising somebody that said you're making him worse. Yeah, okay, okay. It seems like uh, we don't have to tell people they're doing good. Says to our people, said to Yadima, oh yes, you're good. We appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Yeah. He start doing whatever he Whatever, wants. yeah. He, he he got over his head, right? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Go and yeah. show it. Yeah. Well, uh, he did not can come to power uh, by election. We know that. Mm -hmm. uh, and unfortunately, when a leader is out there with no competition, with no multi-party system, or uh, he will just appreciate or denounce a particular person. You know, and it tend to develop that kind of you know. Uh, ownership to the country <laughs> and the people uh, should be the one demanding no no there is an alternative to this but I agree with you you know uh, w within that the dictatorial personality you can try to find some good or bad but uh, as, as a package he, he's a dictatorial right what I am learning? I making sense no yeah what <laughs> I learned in Togo and yeah. sometimes I I said uh, maybe they need to teach Yadima theories in uh, political science school. Oh, okay. Because this guy didn't go far in school. Okay. But he knew how to get what he want without showing to people uh, he has his hand inside. Yadima want to get modify his constitution. He's not going to say anywhere but people from the background back the bottom up yeah okay we start asking and it's still his job his manipulation from the bottom you're not gonna see him and then at the end he will say i heard you everybody we see is coming from who from people mm -hmm. but today what we hear is the president themselves who declare, I am going to do this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yadama never did it. He never showed to people, it come from me. Okay. Uh, second, yeah. Yadama want to go to election. If you guys will say you're not going, he's not going to stay anywhere. He will fund people, finance them. See their candidates okay. and the, f the, 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 the following. Okay. You're not gonna say he did this, but mm -hmm. he's doing that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the same time, he can talk down people and go to the TV. I condemn. He will arrest people. He did it himself. It's why I said today, all those politicians. They go themselves, I'm doing this. And the next day, they say, oh no, oh no, I didn't do this. Eh? He's not going to do that. But he will do it. 
Okay, okay. It's he'll, that he'll, way he'll take he respo- responsibility for his actions, right? He's he's going to condemn his own his own actions. Yeah, okay. Oh, condemn his own actions. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. But he's not. You're not gonna say it's his action. Yeah, yeah. But he's condemning them. The action, yeah, without indicating. Is him? That, yeah, okay. Uh, okay. His then son. Let's go to his son. Okay. His son. Uh, he's been in power since. Uh, 2005 and if I'm correct me if I'm wrong but he never gave an interview to a TV station or talk to anybody you know explaining his policies and uh, they also uh, rumor has it that he's got 17 kids and 13 girlfriends this is an informal <laughs> discussion here uh, what do you th- how do you describe his style is he you know, a, sp- a spoiled a kid that he uh, receives? Of course, he's spoiled kid. Okay. Of course, he's born in the. He's born when everything is there. Yeah, okay, with the silver uh, spoon. Yeah, okay. Yeah, mm. he's born when. Mm. He, sometimes when I say he's not his father because his father mm. came from a poor family. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This guy never stay wandering without food. Mm-hmm. He cannot understand when people come to say, "Oh, the whole day the family didn't eat." He cannot understand. No, oh, okay, okay. He never been to. He yeah. never been there. Never, yeah, never, never in his life. He become president. Mm-hmm. And I know his style. This guy doesn't talk. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't say much. Huh? He doesn't talk. You can be in the country six months. You cannot see him on TV. Is that a good thing? It's his style. Okay. But in the same time, he doesn't talk. But he's um, he's, like, he's busy doing something else. <laughs> like what? I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's busy doing something else. Okay. He doesn't talk. Uh, yeah. Even when he travel, when his father travel, you feel it. Okay. It's like a, it's a party when his father travel. Yeah. People are around. Yeah. He's announced when he's coming back. Well this guy, well he can travel. Okay. You never know. He's traveling. He can come back. You never know. Not publicized. Not publicized. Yes. He's not even talk. People try the press. Mm-hmm. The, not only TV, the radio, the press. Uh, the, the the newspaper everybody's trying to get something something from him okay okay but uh, he's so quiet okay. i don't know if it's a good okay. strategy okay uh, but i don't know okay that's it's that's his style is, is yeah, opposite. yeah he's in my opposite but <laughs> yeah, it, w- but y- y- you know togo did not see any significant change uh, from his uh, dad's rule to to, to his son uh, of course uh, the 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 only change uh, we can say it's uh, is not uh, is not yet yeah, okay. But okay. It's still uh, the family, and okay. it's the only change. But if not the the system, mm-hmm. still the same system. Okay, okay. L- let's go to a different subject. Uh, Togo has a a majority of indigenous beliefs, like the animist and and uh, <coughs> there's twenty nine percent Christian, twenty percent Muslims. Is there a harmony in terms of religion in Togo? Or yeah, yeah. Would, would you say that? It's, it's no, 100%. Okay. I'm telling you, 100%. Yeah. And you cannot feel it. You cannot feel it. Okay, okay. Uh, it's why sometimes when people discuss uh, about uh, see some, uh, what something happened, they say is a, a, a religion uh, a between, is a something between Christian it's and it's Muslim. Blood, yeah. Please, uh, many times I say, we don't know that in Africa. Especially in my country, we don't know that. Oh, okay. We we, we 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 know that in Africa, maybe in Togo. I say, maybe, maybe okay, especially okay, in my okay, country. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, you will see many people, r- Christian, Muslim, yeah. non-Christian, non-Muslim, live together in the same house. And especially in Togo, the renting uh, traditional renting house uh, is open house courts. It's open. Uh, 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 house, ca- house, yeah, open, okay. shared by everybody. Okay, you can see Muslim, you can see Christian, you can see whatever in the mm. same house, sharing the same bathroom or uh, the same cot. Okay, and mm. everything yeah. is fine. Yeah, okay, yeah. Myself, I, I, I was raised between all those, between uh, mixed Muslim. Yeah. Christian, non-Muslim, non-Christian. Christian, okay. And it's not an issue. It's not an issue. Okay. It's not an issue. But is there s- 
some sort of division. I'm not trying to <laughs> uh, yeah. find a division in Togolese uh, society, but uh, earlier we were talking about it may not have something to do with religion, but there's a north-south kind of tension. Yeah, it's would, what would I'm you, saying. Would you call that? Yeah. It's what I'm saying. In Togo, uh, we don't have a, uh, we call a religion division. Okay. We yeah. don't have it. Yeah. But the problem from Togo for Togo, some who are not honest, mm -hmm. don't call it that way. But is uh, the problem between north and south? Some uh, other countries of uh, Africa you will see between a uh, tribe, but in Togo between north and south. And it can explain by uh, by history. It can be explained by political uh, action. It can be explained by economic action. Okay. Okay. Let's start by history. When the Germans came in Togo, mm -hmm. the first people they met was the littoral coast people, which is the south. So the first people to go to school in Togo okay. were from the south. From the south, okay. Mm -hmm. The first people to know the business, to know the money, mm -hmm. are from the south. So the development of the Togo start from the south going up oh. uh, the south by the atlantic ocean by atlantic right ocean. okay okay going towards the north to the north okay and when the colonization start it's the same thing the schools start going from the south to the north we can explain the development the south will be more developed than mm. the, the north and of the course north. okay okay because the privilege being in contact with the foreigners mm -hmm start with the south okay okay, okay. that one nobody can deny okay so the first privilege and the fa first powerful economical people people who want to school is from the south and now it made the difference between south and north so once you want to get a job you have to go from the south the north no, you have to go, go down go south, okay to okay. the south Okay. So people, uh, it's like immigration from the s north to the south to get a job. So the development is that, that mm. and until, uh, until now what's happened, the north, especially the Adana region, mm. has to be in army or you don't get a job. Oh, okay, okay. So it's what can I explain in Togo right now. Oh, okay. The army is 90% from, from, from the north. From the region. Oh, okay. But not okay. 90 percent. Okay. Yeah, okay. And that's the history. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And economically, it's what I'm saying. It made the South economically po more powerful than the North. Oh, okay. Okay. The North, most of them, or uh, agriculture, agri most of them. Oh, okay. what you can do. And you can explain because the, the North, you have mountains, you have everything hard. Yeah. You can explain. Now, politically, since Olympio was king, Olympio was from the south. A, the south history is what? When the independence was coming, the south said, we want independence. The north was saying, we want to be a progressist. Which is? Which we want to follow, be on the fence, progressively, until we get our independence. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know, the boy was asking a friend, a French colony on the, his time, mm -hmm. who want to get his independence right now? And we got everything with them, or who want to be on the French until two more years or three more years and under get their independence. Okay, under the protectorate of French, okay. So, uh, most of the North mm -hmm. was saying, okay, we want to be on the France for some more years. Any special reason for that? Because? I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. And the South say, okay, with Olympio, we want to be. That one already was a conflict between South and, uh, and, uh, and, that and, issue. and North. Okay. And when Olympio get the power, uh, when Olympio 
the, the Lebanon's wall. Yeah. So there's some tension between his party and the other party. Okay. Okay. Until Yadam, when he got killed, now Yadam came on power. So Yadam start doing what we call what? I don't know if he knew is what he was doing. Uh, he just disuit cut. Okay. All those two parties. And he has one party he called LPP. Oh, okay. He, he said, I'm going to, uh, to unite all of you guys in one party. Okay. You're fighting each other too much. Oh. You're the same. So, so he makes it a one party system? One party system. Oh, okay. It was two. Yeah. So since he took over, yeah. he made it, after four years, he made one party. Okay. His own party. Uh, yeah, so no more democracy. <laughs> Says, okay. Says, says yeah, okay, okay. Okay. But if now, but then he was not powerful, and after four years again, he's okay. Now he's the state party. Okay, okay. It's not anymore my party. It's yeah. this, the whole country party. Full fledged, yeah. Because it's one party. You cannot make one party out of two. Yeah. Ideologically or you know, okay. uh, politically so different well parties. Okay. Started getting, uh, okay. Uh, That's interesting. Much. It was a lot. Next so mm. then now. Mm. After the Yadama is on power and the South people was thinking, okay, Yadama killed the father of independence. Okay, okay. And they were angry. And everybody around Yadama, from his ethnic, his di his tribal, everything is hit by the South. Okay. And now, like those people, s they see themselves like a they got their freedom. They come out and they start just being behind Yadama 100%. Everything he's saying, they'll do it. Okay, because of the, the tension. He, right. he exploited the differences. Yeah. Okay. okay. So now it become the tension between people from his uh, region, yeah. north, and the south. The south. Oh, okay, okay. And we're still carrying down to now. Oh, it's still? Okay. It's still. Okay. When we see opposition, 90% is mm -hmm. from the South. Mm -hmm. When we see people behind the uh, four, his son, yeah. 90% from the North. From the North. Okay. You see? That's, That's why I'm here. We can explain you yeah. politically, economically. Okay. And, uh, okay, let me take you to a different uh, subject. Well, it's still Togolese, but a different yeah. subject. Uh, uh, Farida. A lady activist uh, uh, who resides in Europe, I, I believe in England. Uh, last year, she came up with a list of officials uh, who are corrupt and displayed it on public, and it was creating a lot of controversy. Uh, who is she, and uh, what's her impact on the politics of Togo? You know, I read, uh, I read Farida. Uh, I read her stories on, on, on YouTube, uh, many of her stories on YouTube. She's very interesting, you know. Uh, she, she just say the way it is. She just put it there. The way okay, it is. yeah, she lists yeah, all of them. You know, she's not, uh, they don't like her. The party on power do doesn't like her. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Okay. They don't like her, and they're cracking her down, and the only way she can prove her they're wrong is to do what she did. She just put there. Yeah. And how she get it, I don't know, but she just put there. And it's not the only thing. She got more. She got more. Oh, she got more. Okay. More, yeah. more. She got more. I think it's why we're not going to yeah. go too far because she got more. She got more than that. Even the private life, she got it. Yeah. Uh, even the private life, she got it. Fact, so. she may even have a followers in Togo because they were protesting right after the, the, the list came out. Okay, if they say if yeah. they say she's wrong, they have just to bring the proof she's wrong. Proof, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Well. Protest, not protest. Yeah. If I say something and you know you I am wrong, mm -hmm. just show me I am wrong. Producing the, the, the proof that I am wrong. Okay. Not only talking, oh you do what you are saying is wrong, is wrong. If I can prove you what I'm saying is right, yeah. you prove me what you're saying, they cannot just say this this I know this lady she cannot just make up those yeah, information. Yeah, she cannot yeah. because those information was so 
detail oriented so, so big mm. so uh, serious accusation that she can lie with the blink mm. of so that accusation she knows she mm. knows what she was doing what she's doing and they know what she's doing and they know where she get the information and they know she's right mm -hmm. that's why they cannot persecute her uh, like that and if they want to go far she mm -hmm. got more oh, okay. I, I guarantee you i read she's many of her stories she got in yeah. love okay I'll, I'll, i'll check that one out <laughs> of course and uh let's talk about economy the agriculture uh, togo is known to export coffee yeah cotton uh, coca and uh, among other stuff uh and it also port of lome is well known in west africa mm -hmm. and uh, in fact they have this ex expansion plan now uh, to make it bigger and uh, those four countries neighboring three countries i'm sorry uh, niger mali and burkina faso uh, best use the port of uh, togo uh, to their benefits of course the vice versa togo benefits out of this can you tell us uh, how effective is the sport in delivering goods and services to the landlocked countries you know uh, the port of togo is the the, the land uh, the lands of, of togo okay <laughs> the lands of togo economy mm -hmm. in french we develop more okay the lands of togo economy more once the port is running well mm -hmm. the economy of togo is well and once again the corruption the corruption the corruption and everything any kind of penny coming from that port if it can go straight the packet in the treasure okay of oh okay mm -hmm. people Togo will be rich but those politicians those uh, congress members those uh, government members everybody's asking send send this send this we need this we need that you mm -hmm. don't know what they do with okay and at yeah. the end there's nothing so it's an active poor that poor is very important for Togo for Mali for Niger, for Mauritania, mm -hmm. oh, Mauritania from, okay. yeah, up, from up Burkina Faso, okay. 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 even uh, Ghana is using the the, w the, w the eastern part of Ghana. Yeah, okay. it's using that port because okay. it's cheaper for them to get the stuff from Togo than the car, uh, Accra port. Accra port, uh, Accra port is on the other side. On the side. Oh, okay, okay. Africos is using the same port. Because when they put together the tax, getting their stuff from Abidjan port, mm -hmm. it costs them more than even taking their stuff from Togo to Abidjan. To Abidjan, okay. okay. Even they put transportation from Togo to Abidjan, it's still costing them less. That makes sense, that makes sense. Yeah. So it's very, very important. It's why mm -hmm. right now they are building another, the third one. They are extending the Togo port. Okay the biggest one the third one is almost the double of what they have now yeah they're, they're, they're on the process of building yeah. it right okay yeah okay. so mm -hmm. uh, it's not only for Togo it's for the region and I'm telling you it's now because the poor is now uh, generating a money mm -hmm. or revenue the poor is generating the economy once again is people who is managing that those revenues oh, okay okay it's not going for the people of Togo. yeah okay it's going somewhere else it's where uh, i think it's where bringing Togo back again mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 100 years behind is there a resistance against corruption and mismanagement in in togo uh that is the his father uh, used to punish people his father used to punish people it's what i told you before 90 before 90 you cannot be in yaduma administration and steal government money or spend government money for something else he will himself punish you okay but after but that yeah people can steal yeah 
People can take anything they want and they can get away with it. Persecute them. Okay. Yeah. And today is still too many corruption. People cannot be persecuted because they did this or that. Okay. What I'm saying though, yeah, from the government and uh, of course uh, the government cannot punish itself <laughs> in many cases. But a person like Farida, uh, activist, mm -hmm. although she's in diaspora, but locally within Togo, if that kind of movement rises, uh, so there's a hope for uh, Togo to be a corrupt free society down the line. <laughs> They cannot. They cannot. They cannot. Okay. They cannot because yeah. Uh, yeah. you know the the system is this. Mm. You have newspaper who are talking about that all the time. Newspaper are talking about that all the time. Guess what? Even newspaper when they were talking about that, in the same time, if they call them and they give them money, mm. the so next day they're not going to talk about that again. Yeah. That one is corruption too. Oh yeah, yeah. You see, oh. it's only when you're uh, outside the country. You can do that. Mm -hmm. I'm, I guarantee you, if Farida goes back in Togo and she wants to, and she fishes still longer, mm -hmm. at the end they will get, she will play with their game. Okay. They know how to do it. Okay. Because yeah. you can, if you were there, yeah. they know how to do it. <laughs> well, they are corrupt. Yeah. Still they have people, they yeah. have a news, they have people, they have organization mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. calling to that, saying that every single day in Togo. Why now? What are we talking about? At this time, we were on this planet. Okay. People are there talking about that corruption, corruption all the time. Guess what? I wanted to give you the another form of corruption. You have a, a contract for public work, or uh, yeah, let's say public work. They are going to find their own people to get the contract. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Instead to let people who can do the right job, the good job, they are going to get their own people. Another name, their own people mm -hmm. will come with their society, mm -hmm. their, their, their companies' names and their uh, folder, everything for portfolio. When you read it, okay, they'll get the contract. It's still their own people. people yeah, in fact, that, that's the manifestation across Africa, wherever you go, with, the, exce with the exception of few countries. Uh, corruption is the main disease. It's, it's, a, it's, like it's terrible. It yeah? is terrible. It's terrible. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm glad uh, we got some general information on what I think. I Togo. think. Yeah. I think the new generation is uh, mm. is working uh, hard. Is working hard to change uh, mm. uh, uh, the way things are going. Right now, is uh, the position is working, even though that position is getting weaker and weaker, uh, because this boy is doing. Uh, the president is doing a good job. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can call it good job. Making time to shut down eh, uh, everybody peaceful. Okay, take this one and I don't want to see you talking about that one again. Take this one. Oh, yeah. Okay, take that one. I don't want to see you talking about it again. You understand that thing? Censorship. Everything you need, yeah. call me. So I know it's why he's making the opposition weaker and weaker. Oh, okay. But still, okay. There are some people who, who's who is fighting, who is telling, who were willing to change oh, okay. the way things are going. Things are not going well, like they're supposed to go. They're not going well. People are fighting. People like Farida, yeah, yeah, fighting, okay. telling the truth, letting people who cannot speak, yeah. who, who let people know what's going on in their own country, how the the politicians are corrupt, how the politicians are lying, how the politicians. Or, or not doing their job. It's what sh she's putting there yeah. for people. She did, she did. Yeah, and I think she's doing in a great, fact, great job. She did a good job. Yeah. And I hope that the people with integrity will increase in number. Numbers, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hope. Eventually, you yeah. know, uh -huh. we'll have uh, a corrupt free yeah. uh, government <laughs> in Togo. Yeah. And another thing, we'll talk about this one some other time. Uh, Togo is a fifth producer in the world of phosphates and that is a big potential for a Togolese yeah. economy yeah according to the population normally we don't have to suffer yeah okay that one the phosphate only yeah can give the job to all Togolese, Togolese okay. all youth yeah. Togolese. there's a potential out there okay okay it's not you're not gonna go to my uh, 
uh, uh, miles, miles, miles to get the first one. That's right. It's just right there. Oh. The, 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 the foreman. Okay, okay. The foreman has first fight, just on the ground. You know, going even, even a, 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 a year. No, okay. it's just there. There, okay, okay. The whole half of like the the south the whole south Minna police. Oh, okay, okay. And, and still, thieves don't have job in Togo. Yeah, yeah. The thieves the largest producer. I mean, uh, the producer in the big. world. It's big. Yeah, it's big. It's number. still and six million. Yeah. When you take those six million, those six million, all those six million, yeah. or now people working. So that means less than six, sixty million are looking for jobs. The only phosphate can feed all Togo people. All those six million. Yeah. But pips don't have food. Yeah, I don't have food. Again, things have to change. <laughs> things, things, things need need to, need to improve. Need change. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Our time is up. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Eve, uh, for this, uh, for enlightening us on the uh, politics and the social and economic life in Togo. And uh, we'll have you next time when there's a change in Togo. And we'll it will talk be a pleasure. It will be. Thank you. Thank okay. you. On this note, uh, we'll end today's program uh, of Beyond Headlines. Until we see you next week, have a nice one. Thank you. Thank you. Mama Yeah, yeah, yeah.